Hi, everyone. I'm Cy Rossignol with the Tasker Center for Accessible Technology at the University of Washington. And today I'm presenting kind of a showcase of one of the courses that the Tasker Center taught, Responsible Data Science in Urban Spaces. And I'm presenting today, uh, the course was taught by Cole Anderson and Anat Caspi at the Tasker Center. I'm presenting today on behalf of Cole, who could not make it, unfortunately. So the Tasker Center develops technology that aims to make a big impact on people with disabilities. We have a couple of projects, the Tra Transportation Data Equity Initiative and Open Sidewalks. And the motivations for this course were to teach students GIS basics and to introduce responsible data science concepts. So the course taught some technical skills, QGIS, Python, geodesy, uh, spatial analysis, and students also learned how to use some of the Tasker Center's tooling, like our walk sheds calculator. Uh, find me if you'd like to know more. And the other part was this responsible data science instruction. So the students also learned how to navigate data biases. And you know, we, we are the mappers. We are biased. It's not a criticism, but it's, it's just a fact of being human. So we, we have to understand when we're using the, our data, and we're using this data to make conclusions that the data is, is biased. So the students learned how to navigate that. They learned methods to analyze the data. Um, the, these data biases propagate into uh, the models that we train using AI and ML. We, we hear a lot about this now in the news where the AIs are, are biased because the data that they were trained with is biased. And the course also taught students how to address equity, sustainability, social justice, privacy, security in their work. So we'll take a look at a few of the projects that the students worked on. The first one here is a transit income project where students used walk sheds to analyze how far um, the frequent transit stops were from uh, people in, in low income areas. And they used our walk shed scripts to calculate whether census tracts had different access to frequent transit lines. Another project here used the OpenStreetMap data to find a drive time matrix um, to, to determine how far people had to drive to medical centers if, we, if you had access to quick medical care. And in this case, the students used OSRM, which is open data derived from open data, and that comes with its own set of biases. You know, routers have a very biased way of presenting data. A third project here is a, an analysis of how much it would cost Seattle to be fully accessible. So students used Seattle sidewalks data to identify th these high priority areas based on Seattle's sidewalk issues data set and to find how many issues were related to our transit system and our sidewalks and generated some costs to repair these that the students presented to the agencies that were in charge. Our last project here analyzed curbside disability parking spots and access to ballot locations. So again, this is information coming from OpenStreetMap uh, that students would not have had access to otherwise. And the, 
the sidewalk data uh, help to identify areas that the city can improve upon to help, uh, for people with disabilities to access uh, ballots. So OpenStreetMap is a very useful tool for educators. It's, it's um, important to keep in mind these data biases when we're mapping, but the data is very valuable, so please continue to map. Thank you.